Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. It's Tishing here. For those of you who don't know, if you do know, hey babe, and welcome back. Before the official start of the video, please like this video. It really helps YouTube push my content out to other people so we can grow. Now, this is a very exciting video for me. And backstory. <laughs> when I started my channel, it was initially supposed to be a beauty channel. So doing this video was gonna make me really happy because I feel really girly again. And yeah, let's do it. I've been looking crazy for a very long time. A long time. And we need to put a stop to that. So I went out the other day and I bought a few things to spice up the look. And I'm just now seeing that these lashes, because I bought individual lashes and I bought strip lashes, right? I'm just now seeing that the individual lashes that I bought, these are eight millimeters. And I don't think I can do eight millimeters, babe. <laughs> eight millimeters is very short for my liking. Like I don't like short lashes, I like dramatic lashes. But then also I don't wear makeup all the time, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. I've never done my individual lashes before. I'm quickly gonna watch a YouTube tutorial and we're gonna start. It's actually quite late right now. I'll tell you the time in a jiffy. It's currently 8 minutes to 12. And I'm just now starting this video. But I'm excited. I'm just quickly gonna watch the tutorial. And I'm gonna be back. So I found a tutorial. I just watched this tutorial. It seems fairly easy. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take these lashes, this lash style, and I'm going to cut it up into the clusters of the lashes, and then these will go like in my inner corner because I really want that cat eye effect because that's the shape of my eye. And this video is going to be so exciting. I'm doing my hair, I'm doing my makeup, I'm doing skincare, I'm doing my nails, girl. I'm going to transform before your eyes. So you see me looking good, don't you dare say I'm a catfish. Because I'm giving you the receipts, I've shown up looking the way I look now. I'm going to show you guys how I transform. I make up a new face. So let's start. Guys, there's a lash. <laughs> you can't even tell is a lash so I can't use these <laughs> because okay maybe in front I'll use them but I can't use them here because really there's a lash but you can't tell there's a lash to update I cut up the lashes into clusters so I'm gonna now stick this on my eye and I'm quite nervous <laughs> but I'm gonna use normal lash glue because the black lash glue burns a lot and I'm not here for it so yeah I think I need a tutorial on how to put on lash clusters because at this point I'm going to rip my eyelashes out because it doesn't want to work Guys, I'm back. I want to show you. Finally, hold on. Here is the one eye. It looks terrible. Well, okay, for my first time, it's not bad. But like, <laughs> it's clumpy and there's like glue over here. I think I need to like use mascara to get rid of that. But hey, last girl. Then here's the other eye. Here's the other eye. 
when you give the nice one. So I'm going to show you guys how I did it. I love it. I don't know how long this is going to stay for, but yeah, it works. So I'm going to show you how I did it. I'm sticking the lash underneath my eye. The lash is going to stick, so I need to put the glue on this part of the lash. So I just do that. Right? This was by far the hardest beauty related thing I have ever had to do and I'm talking from experience okay I can do my own hair and by hair I mean braids, cornrows, faux locks, you name it okay I've done my nails, I've done press ons, I've done nails with the machine, I've waxed guys think about it I have waxed okay waxing is not a joke but this trying to put your lashes on is not a joke i was struggling okay first of all the glue was burning my eyes because it has that um it's a very strong glue it's like vix almost imagine like you're putting that on your lash line your waterline it was terrible guys it was so difficult for me to do it was at this moment that i realized i'm not the baddie i claim to be please Praise God. I'm not this girl who you see on Instagram. That's not me. I was struggling, okay? But um, eventually, I did get it to work. But still, it was so difficult. Again, one of the hardest things I have ever had to do. Guys, I think I'll do my nails tomorrow. Um, they're press ones, so it's easy. I can't even do them last. Um, but my lashes are done. Thank God. Like, I can't wait for the video for me to be done filming the video so I can take them off because, hey, this is some other kind of torture, guys. Hey, how am I even going to sleep? But I'm glad that I did them first because I did not know what I was doing, okay? Guys, I took the lashes off. It has not even been 20 minutes. They were boring me. I was tired. I, I took them off shape. I'll just stick to what I know. I stick on lashes, but when it's time for you to remove them, you can remove them easily. When it's time to sleep, you don't have to be worrying. I'm not going to be sleeping person in the light. Oh. Hey, guys, please. I'm a, um, I'm, I'm a baddie wannabe at this point but um yeah I removed those lashes I'll see you tomorrow what is a glow up without a clay mask yes it <laughs> non-existent I love to use bentonite clay it has been used for centuries as a natural cleaner and a face mask I love to pair this with apple cider vinegar you can use water if that's too harsh for you you need to mix this with something that is plastic you cannot use a metal because bentonite is actually a metal and if you use a metal then it's just going to cancel out all the properties and the goodness it's going to give your skin so I love to mix that until I get like a paste like consistency and then I put that on my face as a face mask My absolute favorite part of glue up there is skincare time. So guys, use retinol. I absolutely love retinol. I use the Treklin gel. This was prescribed to me by my doctor because you guys know I suffered with acne, okay? So he put me on retinol and my skin has not gone back, okay? So I just like to put that on a clean face. I put the retinol first because I feel like that that's what works best for me and I have seen results by doing this then I go in with my hyaluronic acid 
serum and i use the brand called curette you can buy this at Diskim for 180 rand and it, i think it's extremely affordable this brand also has sheet masks and moisturizers and it is a korean skincare brand and we all know them folks in korea have a great skin so hop on sis <laughs> Then the OG of moisturizers, babe. Pure glycerine cream. This is literally in the name. Pure glycerine cream. It's just there to moisturize your skin. It doesn't have any added scents. All of those added ingredients are non-existent in this product. It is 70 bucks at Diskim. I buy all my skincare things from Diskim, just by the way. And yes, look at how moisturized my skin is looking. Girl, come on. And obviously lip gloss because we did not accept dry lips around here. So this is just a close-up of how my skin looks. For me, claws equals character. I love, love, love when I have my nails done. But very big but i love to get french tips and these are press-ons as i mentioned in the previous clip i love me some press-ons because they're very easy to put on and take off so i use this mirage glue and these cheap nails that i got from a shop called sweetheart that is at southgate mall simple frenchies so what i do i love to start by testing out which nail fits on which finger now i have different sized fingers okay like my, the one box is never the same as the other box and that's completely okay you know we're unique on this side and i just think that this makes the whole process easier it decreases confusion and it just makes it go by faster i don't want to waste 20 hours doing my nails babe no so after i have measured out all my nails i just take on the glue take on i just take the glue put it on the nail and press it onto my nail literally in the name press ons If you have made it to this part of the video please just leave a red heart in the comment section and just know that i love and i appreciate you so so much so this is my favorite part i am putting on my mother's wig hello because i ain't got a wig buy me wigs <laughs> so i literally love how i use these voiceover sessions as podcasts you know i love it so those of you who know um and also for those of you who don't know i have not worn makeup in a very long time i'm talking like february march and we're now in july i've worn makeup like once but that was last week and the reason for that is because i was on accutane so this was really testing it was a test for my skills like do i remember what to do do i not remember what to do but yes as you can see i clipped the hair back and i started off with my brows very simple i like to use a bar of soap just to slick my brows up and then i take a black pencil because i love dark brows and i just outline my brows very lightly just to give it a 3d effect then i love to take some concealer and just conceal my brows now there's this whole big thing on tiktok about how your brows are supposed to look and how people have different brows um like you know the whole brow transformation how we used to do brows in 2016 and how we're doing brows in 2022 and it's like babe mm, i'm gonna do my brows the way i know how first of all and the way that i love it so um it's a whole thing on tiktok like tiktok makeup 
<laughs> TikTok makeup. Makeup TikTok is insane. Everyone has opinions on how your makeup should be done. But I honestly believe that if you look good, if you feel good, then that's all that matters. This is an extremely crucial step for me. And this is because I have really dark under eyes. And I get these because I stress too much. And sometimes I don't get sleep. It's just a whole lot of reasons. But I just lightly dab this with my beauty blender. And that's because I am going to go over it with my foundation. The reason why I do this is because my foundation is not full coverage. And I don't really like full coverage foundation anyway. Because I just feel like it's extremely heavy and yeah it makes my face look cakey so here i am going in with my foundation and i'm gonna use a brush to blend that in what i love to do is i love to use a brush first and then go in with the beauty blender because i just feel like the beauty blender pats it into your skin and it makes it look more skin like and ultimately that's what i'm going for guys i hope it's not just me but you know this may sound extremely shallow to other people but i truly believe that if you look good you start to feel good and that's why i love these glow up transformation videos because i believe that for you to look crazy you know for your space to look crazy it's because inside is feeling crazy do you get what i mean i honestly feel like your inside manifests in your outer appearance <laughs> appearance appearance it manifests in how your room looks how you speak how you present yourself so i think that the moment you take an active step to start looking after yourself to start making yourself look good you ultimately start to feel good and then it's just goodness all around and i absolutely love that <laughs> 